This is so good. What? This is so unreal. I've never felt this satisfaction in my life when it comes to adaptation because I was never a a, uh, a light novel reader from 86. I was an anime only. I've read Clash of the Elite and I wasn't really satisfied with the adaptation because of the amount of cut contents and changed scenes. But this, holy f You get a, uh, a standing ovation, all right? Yo, what's up, Tio from Nation? This is the Tio from Once We're Here Again. We're back with Gimai Seikatsu, or my stepsister. Last episode was way faster than the light novel, which is good because those were some unimportant moments, although, you know, has detail on probably future uh, future things in, uh, in the story. But the thing is, you know, the important ones are the ones that are getting adapted, and that's the good thing. So, I'm glad that episode 1 got the faithful adaptation it deserved, and that is up to uh, page 38 of volume 1. Now, episode 2 adapted from page 39 to page 106. And for this one, episode 3, will be the end of volume 1. So, if you want to read... The missing contents, the cut contents, go read the light, the light novel because, yeah, you are missing out some details, what Saki was listening to, and, yeah, this did not happen. This also did not happen. The Pansu incident. I don't know if they're gonna include it. This also, although we did see this, um... Uh, version of Saki, you know, and then yeah, anyway If you want to read more just read the light if you want to read about the cut content go read the light novel buy it <laughs> Okay, support the original. All right So yeah, we left off at page 106 where Maya visited and Based on episode 3 it's a different direction so probably gonna show the past about the visit on this scene so yeah anyway let's go and continue this series so yeah anyway uh, la uh like i said i am watching this ahead because i'm watching the fan uh fan subs the fan subtitles the fan translation because the original from crunchyroll is um gonna be on this week thursday on its episode two and now i'm already on episode three well episode two hasn't aired yet so yeah officially although this was pre-released so that is why the audio is a bit off at times that is why i'm re-watching it on my own on the legal way and that is crunch roll so yeah and plus crunch roll disabled comments just recently yesterday which is weird anyway yeah uh let's go ahead and see how this ends and uh, i don't know if they did cut out those um moments in the light novel but anyway yeah i want to see the the panty underwear incident adapted because that shows uh saki and yuta's character interaction you know like how how they have like the same wavelength and how they understand each other and how you know it's not just about understanding each other but how they understand these situations you know that occur you know it's the typical cliche but the way you approach it realistically is not the same as like ah baka <laughs> no <laughs> so i wanted to get adapted Anyway, let's see though. Um, yeah, this has no opening from what I'm seeing. Yeah, the credits are here and then there is no ending theme or visuals again as well. So yeah, anyway, 
Let's jump right into episode three. So Patreon shout out obviously goes to these lovely members over my Patreon. They get the early access, especially the five dollar tier. They get the super early access on Gimai Seigatsu. So yeah. Uh let's just jump right in. So yeah. Before we begin, please drop a like, comment, share, and subscribe, turn to post audio songs so then we start end of my video shows on the channel. And I am gonna be super busy, so that is why I hope I can finish editing this by tomorrow after I wake up. I have a lot of things to do, so hopefully I can make some time. So yeah. Anyway, with that being said, without further ado, without further delay, let's get right into it. Oh, June, what? Okay, so they are doing the back, the past thing then. Yeah, subtitle is uh. Not the same as the last two episodes. Oh, damn, they're doing it like this. Mm -hmm. Wow, they're not doing the uh, Maya teasing Saki and Yuta. Interesting. So they cut it out. What? Oh man, I wanted to see that. Well, it's up to you guys if you want to see it or if you want to read the novel on what their conversations are. It's mostly about teasing. I guess it's not important, but if you want some fun times, not just dra like melodrama like the show is supposed to be, then if you want some light-hearted ones, not not just Shiori Senpai, then go ahead and read the novel if that's what you want. You know, an icebreaker for this drama. So, yeah. Sorry if the subtitle is like uh, smaller compared to the last two episodes because the fan translator is different this time. Aww. <laughs> Reflex and revision. Oh, that. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm.うちは白だし。さっきも作れるわよ。噛んだ。作ってあげたら私だとはこんなにふわっとしない。俺目玉焼き好きだから。そう。まあ、気が向いたら作る。いえ、これくらい。二人のもまとめて洗っていいんですよね。でるだってけ。でるだってけ。え、だめ。あれでいい、あれでいい。あれでいい。あれでいい。あれでいい。あれでいい。あれでいい。あれでいい。あれでいい
it's so weird seeing Studio Dean has this much high quality and animation for a romance anime. Huh? Nah, nah, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm so not used to... Listen, I am so not used to romance have this much passion when it comes to animations and visuals when it's romance, okay? Basically, it's all... It, like... Everything that I've watched, almost everything that I've watched when it comes to romance are all simplified. Like, they don't have... Sure, they have the passion to create this romance story into an anime format. However, it's not as cinematic. Okay, so this has... Okay, bro. Yeah, Studio Dean. They are the best studio to ever adapt Gimai Seikatsu. As of this moment, I feel like they have the potential to be the best uh, anime studio that adapts uh, romance animes to a cinematic uh, visual uh, experience. You know, a good cinematic visual experience. Like, bro, the puddle alone is this damn good. What the f Huh? What? Hey, yo, no, 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 no. Nah, bro. This oh, wow. This is so weird. And bro, dude, dude, did you see that attention to detail? You, look at Yuta's step. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hey, you see that side step? Mind blown. Actually, mind blown by a romance anime from Studio Dean. Yeah, they are the best studio to adapt Game My Secrets. They didn't get the wrong choice. This is the best option that they had. Like, probably. Most probably, this is the best option they ever had. For adapting a romance anime. For adapting this series. Like, what? They captured the vibe. The animation. Oh, うん。ああ。とっさに言ってしまった。こうしてしまったには仕方ない部分もあると思うんだ。そういう反射的な構造ができるから、構造するだろう。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
where it's super uncomfortable because it's this damn good. What? <laughs> Bro, as a novel reader, I know what I'm getting into. However, as a novel reader and a fan myself, I have no idea what I am getting into when it comes to the visual format. Like, wow. This is a prime example of a faithful adaptation, even though they're cutting out some contents. However, it doesn't deviate from the light novel. Like, the story is fully fleshed out in the anime format. And if you want more details, go ahead and read the novel. Like, that's it. Like, holy f what? They're doing the show, not tell. Super damn good. And at the same time, oh my god. The production in this anime is so far. Episode 3 in? It's, oh my god. What the fuck? This, is this a fucking perfect adaptation? Even though there's a cut content like 86? Bro, Studio Dean is adapting romance anime so well. This is surreal. Maybe Studio Dean's passion when it comes to adaptation is romance. Like, the genre of romance. Like, stick to romance, Studio Dean. This is your forte. Like, okay. <gasps> we are getting it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Maybe. Oh, we are. We are getting it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mm. This is a very important conversation, by the way. It may seem cliche to every one of you that are watching this at this very moment, but let it cook. Let it cook. Let them talk. All right? Let it cook. Because they're cooking. Very good. Mm. <laughs> <笑>ごめん。今のは安フェアだった。ん<笑> <laughs> yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Hey. <laughs> yes. They kept it. They kept the line. So you yokuboga naito yeba usoni narukana. Dakara to it, Nanimosi naikudne. Yokuboa orunda. よくぼうがあることと、よくぼうのままに行動することは違う。ファクツ、ファクツ。Someone um, he is getting cancelled, or he was getting cancelled for being a super fan uh, towards uh, the beanie, I think. And he was like kissing on the screen. They were like, oh, this is a... Yeah. Like, bro, be honest with yourself. As a fan yourself, are you not doing that? If you're a super fan, as a girl or a boy... I sure did. I'm not lying. I sure did. I don't know when. I, I don't even remember when I did it. But I certainly did it. You know. They are primal desires. However, even if you do have them, it's up to you on how to control them if you're going to act upon it. Facts. Utah is sp spitting. <laughs> This is what we learned as well from a uh, psychoanalysis theory is that uh, we all have the id, super ego, and ego, where the id is the uh, primal instinct, your hidden desires, let it loose, you know, those uncontrollable feelings. And then there's the super ego where you're like kind, where you're really guilty, like the Obi Wan Kenobi type of thing or type of personality. 
and then there's this ego which is the balance between ego i mean id and super ego so everyone does Yep. Mm. See? Understanding both. This is a great conversation and I'm glad that it did, didn't cut it. Or are they gonna show? Or maybe not. What? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're not. The fuck? You're a fucking background character and you have that level of animation? What the fuck, Studio Dean? <laughs> huh? I, you see what I'm saying? This is the level of satisfaction that we feel that we are getting very uncomfortable of how good it is, of how good it looks. Like, what the fuck? This is not the kind of adaptation we expected, but holy shit, it exceeded our expectations. Fantastic job. Surreal. Studio Dean. I'm, I'm probably gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I'm, I'm not joking, bro. Like, it's... I'm being serious. Holy fucking shit. That's... That's insane. Bro, I love the ambient sounds. It's so authentic. What? The fuck? Nah, bro. I'm already amazed by this anime because of its animations for a fucking Roman slice of life anime. But what the fuck? Three episodes in, we have this level of animation of consistency. Huh? Studio Dean, bro, you exceeded my expectations. As a novel reader and as a fan of the series, you got a ten. Out, you get a ten out of ten easily. Like I'm gonna rate this a ten out of ten easily, <laughs> like already, bro. Because the director and the author confirmed that the production for this anime is done. No need for revisions because it's done, complete. Like. They are ready to air every single episode. And that is why they aired the first three episodes. Like, they have full confidence that the first three episodes were done. No need to be fixed. That is why they had this pre-released. They're that ready. Like, what the f Studio Dean, bro. Okay, Studio Dean. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You can see as well the attention to detail on this one is that Saki is not the same as she was acting before. Saki? Are they gonna show fan service? No, no. Bro, I thought they were gonna do it. Hey, yo. The reason why I reacted like that is because the typical cliche is that you get fan service, okay? Just like Classroom of the Elite, we get fan service. Beautiful cute girls in the bathtub tease us, you know, but this anime, nah, bro, we're not doing that shit. <laughs> we're only going to show you the thighs, the legs, and then Saki's hands, and then the fingers, like, that's fan service enough for me. I'm satisfied, bro. <laughs> Guess we're getting something spicy here. <laughs> I know what's coming, bro. You see what she wearing, bro? You see what she wearing? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This is it, boys. And girls, probably. If some are watching. Ooh. What? Bro, no. No, no, no. What? Is that? 
is this kind of filter the way they're showing Saki's feeling like disoriented or mixed she has mixed feelings as to what she is doing and what she is feeling in a transition what <laughs> me me <laughs> especially if it's a phone oh here we go <laughs> yeah uh, all right stereotypical people cancel the show now <laughs> don't watch it stereotypes close-minded people cancel the show now where they gonna oh 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 what oh no hey yo the direction though hey yo asamura -kun. They're doing it like this? Hey, yo? Oh. Ew. No, wait, wait. Pause. Pause. What? Yo, the direction in this episode is no joke. What? Bro, I'm... I am... Mind blown by the fact that this has this much high quality of direction and animation. I am blown away, bro. Uh, no, no, this is so uncomfortable. Like, seeing one of my favorite light novel series get adapted faithfully like this cinematic masterpiece. Like, holy fucking shit. This is not what I expected. And yet... Oh my god, nah. You see, you'll get the reason why I am acting like this if you read the novel. If you read the the light novel, you'll get why this level of direction alone is so high. Like, it's so good. The high quality of directions. Nah. The director of this anime and the assistant director of Sasaki Tomiyano, I will follow your work and see what you worked on in the future from from here on out i will be following you my good sir <laughs> because just like um toshimasa ishii i was so impressed by 86 i started to following his uh his work like in fate in uh near automata and other things so they're doing saki's diary before showing what's about to happen to Yuta and Saki. The level of show not to. Oh, bro. Nah, this is so epic, bro. What the f. Huh? What? This is so good. What? This is so unreal. What the fuck, man? This is so unreal. What? <laughs> I've never felt this satisfaction in my life when it comes to adaptation because I was never a a, uh, a light novel reader from 86. I was an anime only. But then I started buying the light novels, though I haven't read it yet. I've read Clash of the Elite and I wasn't really satisfied with the adaptation because of the amount of cut contents and changed scenes. But this? Holy f You get a, uh, a standing ovation, alright? You deserve it, Studio Dean. The director, the staff, everyone a part of this anime. That are, that are a part of this anime. Everyone, every single one of you. Give them a raise, Karokawa. Give them a raise. They deserve it. Holy shit. This is insanity. Nah, I'm so impressed. What the f- Bro, I can't- Oh, I can't stop fanboying. What the fuck? This is why these videos take so long. Oh my god. Bro, I've never been this much of a fan before. Like, what? I'm a big fan of Classroom with the Elite, but the anime is, isn't is doing it as justice, you know? 
but still the quality is there the directions are there it's very clear but in this anime the level of show not tell the level of direction the high quality of animations holy shit bro the the consistency and the sound designs everything bro they captured the vibe the cinematic experience when it comes to the visual format and the level of the audios uh sound designs and the music the scoring what they it's all perfect as a novel reader and a fan of Gimai Seikatsu, Days My Stepsister, I'm going to say this right now. This is a masterpiece adaptation. Holy fucking shit. This is amazing. A 10 out of 10 adaptation for Volume 1. We're only in Volume 1. Remember, they finished production already. They are damn ready to release every single episode from Volume 2, 3, and 4. I can't wait, bro. This is insane. ほっとした。というのが本音。顔合わせの時に分かっていた。記憶バレる人だなというのも後に入る私のために。わざわざ家を張り直してくれるような人。水星だとは思わなかったな。おお。6月8日月曜日。だってそう。朝村君は不ラットな人だ。私の噂を信じ込んでいたのはどうかと思うけど。仕事ないかもとも思う。自分がどう見られているか知ってるしね。怒っていることを認めてくれて。ノーマル。イズパーフェクトリーノーマル。
This is insane. Okay, from now on, I'm not gonna spoil anything from the novel before the volume ends. After the volume ends, okay, that's where I'll talk. They're doing a POV from Saki that were cut out from Yuta's perspective. No, that, bro, that's insane. No. What? 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 Not, no, no, no shot, bro. Studio Dean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Even though they cut out some dialogues, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. This direction is insane. Episode 1, 2, and 3. Perfect. What? No, dude. Oh my god. I have chills. They're doing the cutout parts on purpose on Yuta's perspective or Asamura's perspective so that they can show it to Saki's perspective on Saki's diary on the epilogue, which is the, going to be every final episode of each volume. So, this is go also going to happen. Which I assume will also happen in episode 6, episode 9, and episode 12 of the series, okay? Saki's Diary. Because Saki's Diary is always there in the novel. Uh, as always, it's the epilogue. So, yeah. And that relaxation is making you feel uneasy. Too good to be true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too well. レッサン、それ。俺が一番嫌いなタイプの人間だよ。うん。見た目の良さだけを武器にして稼いでるって言われたくないんじゃなかったっけ?男だとか女だとか関係ない方法で。What? Yo, they didn't do fan service. Let me show you the illustration, by the way. The spicy hot sake. <laughs> We're horny today because this anime literally blew my expectations. It shattered my expectations. Is it? Ta da! <laughs> yeah. So they didn't show it. Well, they did kind of, but you know, not as fan servicey as it is in the, the illustration. But. Asamura君ならそれも分かった上で。俺だからとか関係ない。これは綾瀬さんの話だ。うん。ごめんなさい。父は。昔は優しい人だったように思う。でも会社で失敗してから人間不信に。うん。お母さんは人一倍働いて私を養ってくれて気に入らなかったみたいで。うん。お母さんのこと。所詮は水商売のくせにとか女を使って客を取ってるって
やせさんこれからもよろしく浅村くん Yeah, Morisaki's Diary 6月13日土曜日夜は浅村くんと2人きりで夕食だったお母さんとお父さんをディナーに送り出すことに成功したから言い出したのは浅村くんで彼は本当に細やかな気遣いをする人だだからこそ彼を兄さんと呼ぶわけにはいかない yeah. 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 しまえば私は彼に無限に甘えてしまうだろう That's not the only reason. それだけは絶対にダメだ<笑>ごめん浅村くん浅村くんと呼ぶたびに心の奥底から兄と呼ぶのとは別の何か、yes. 言いようのない感情がこみ上げてくる part. 今まで感じたことのない気持ちで感情に名前は付けられない、mm, 気づいたら浅村くんを意識してる、yeah. もやもやする最近は布団をかぶってもなかなか寝つけない自立して生きようとしてるくせにって自分で自分が情けない気持ちになる何なんだろう Lock it away. I love that. I love that. Oh, the forbidden love. Oh, volume two content. Yep, volume two. Tendencies and responses. Okay. Peak adaptation. Holy shit. This is peak. I have no words. Like, I've said it all. It's a 50 minute video as of this moment. Patreon members, I'm sorry, but hear me out on those、uh, discussions that I did. It's just me being a fanboy so much of this series. Like, they have this much level of passion for this anime. This is so rare. Especially, it's a light novel. Now that we're done, by the way, okay, we're done.、Uh, especially that it's a light novel romance. Step sibling anime or series. It's it's so refreshing and it's weird that they have this much dedication to a step sibling forbidden love romance anime or romance series to adapt this cinematically and faithfully. I have no words but to praise Studio Dean from their hard work for this series. Like, as you can see right now, I'm out of energy because I've said it all. All of my praises for this series. Like, it's so rare to find a series like this that has a faithful adaptation. You don't get these often. They butcher adaptations most of the time because that's the entertainment industry. However, that's not the case for this anime. This is so rare. I've never, like, I've never experienced something like this. I, like, as a novel reader, and then seeing the, the adaptation, you know? Because I was never a novel reader from 86. So I only got intel from the novel readers. But with Days with My Stepsister, Gi Mei Seigatsu, this is so rare. This is my first time actually being a novel reader and being this super satisfied. Like, this is next level. Of peak direction. Like, they have so much passion for this project. It's so unreal. It's surreal. Like, I have no more words to say other than high praises for this series overall. This is so rare. You never find these kinds of adaptations often. You get butchered adaptations most of the time. Like Berserk, prime example of that is Berserk, Tokyo Ghoul, and then what else?、Um, well, let's include Classroom of the Elite then. Even though, as, an, as a standalone anime, Classroom of the Elite is fine. Yeah, because Classroom of the Elite has a clear direction and vision, but this anime and this series alone clears everything. Like, all of my worries for Gimai Seikatsu, Days with My Stepsister, ever since the announcement of、uh, the studio, were all gone. Like, my doubts 
to Studio Dean are gone. Everything. Like, I have no more worries. I have no more doubts towards Studio Dean when it comes to this series. I will forever be anticipating each episode, each week of Gimai Seigatsu, Days of My Stepsister, with so much anticipation, so much hype, because they adapted this so well. This is surreal. Thank you. As a fan, I am super satisfied. This is next level. This is... I have no words. Like, that's it. That's all I can say. Like, holy shit. <laughs> it's so well made. The craftsmanship for this series by the staff and the studio. <sighs> Why do you do this to me? Like, bro, this is overwhelming. You know, as a fan, you are overwhelmed by this much passion and dedication as an adaptation bro this is like i'm not okay like this is so uncomfortable because you don't get these often for mangas it's so easy to adapt them faithfully like you can just follow the manga panels but for a light novel a freaking light novel that are mostly words with so many pages unlike mangas that have illustrations see this is the difference okay manga adaptations i can see them actually adapting it faithfully well <coughs> tokyo ghoul but anyway <laughs> but what light novel this is rare this is unique to have an adaptation so faithfully like this anyway thank you guys so much for watching i've been bragging so much about the series a lot now so i'm gonna end this video now that it's been like less than an hour so i'm sorry patreon members because you got the full reaction uncut unedited reaction video full reaction but this discussion is very important as a fan myself because you can uh, you can view my perspective as a fan and as a filmmaker as well as a film critique as well as a critique in general for this medium for this media of uh, format because I'm a part of the uh, entertainment creator industry creative industry the producers always don't you know approve of this kinds of levels of peak adaptations you know well, they do re-zero, faithful, but Mashoka Tensei is a, uh, it's a mix. 86 is another part of uh, <clears throat> a great adaptation from the light novel. Other than that, it's so rare. Probably Monogat uh, Monogatari series from what I heard. So yeah, so we got Monogatari, 86, um, Gimai Seikatsu, and re, uh, wait. Yeah, ReZero. So yeah, four. Anyway, that is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, this is amazing. Thank you, Studio Dean. Thank you for all to all the staffs and the crew a part of this production. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys on episode four, which I'll wait for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I'll see you guys then. Peace out.